Yeah, hi there. I'm here in Bremen. Pretty cold today. So, smoking a special pipe. I'm gonna show you that, but first I'll tell you what I smoke. I'm smoking some downhill, ready rot. So fine, Virginia, ready rot. Mm. But I don't want to talk about tobacco uh, today. I want to talk about pipe and the building behind me. But before I talk about the building, I show you the pipe. So, this is an incredible and amazing gift I got from Ed, Grandpa Cavendish. So, I was stunned to get that for Christmas. Thanks a lot, Ed, for that. Very, very special gift. I'll tell you what's special about that. This is a Phil Rivara pipe. So, my first Phil Rivara, but it's not only my first Phil Rivara, it's also a first timer for Phil Rivara himself. Why is that? This pipe is done with a 9mm filter. You see that? And I was yeah, just surprised and amazed by that. So, it is Phil Rivara's first 9mm filter pipe ever. I have proof for that. If you don't believe me, I have proof for that. So, hope you can read that. So, he's asking Ed if this is satisfying. And, I just tell you, it is great. It is a great smoker. Uh, it looks very nice, very sharp looking, I think. So straight and, and it's a long pipe and a big pipe and there's a motorcycle coming. A Harley Davidson. Yeah, I was just surprised by that and it's a great pipe and very special. Mr. Rivara, he also did a little cone for the fitter. So the filter fits absolutely precise. Not even all German pipe makers do that. So, Mr. Rivara, if you see that, well done, sir. And thanks a lot for that, for this very special pipe. So, okay, now I'll talk about the building. So, building behind me, well, it's some kind of, uh, uh, it's a special building. Um, it is called the House of the Empire. Haus des Reichs in German. So House of the Empire. So that building goes back to the 1920s. Was built by a huge company, a wool company. Uh, it was an important company, and they spent 12 million Reichsmark to build that building behind me. And it has 30, 34,000 square meters of offices. So it's incredible, incredibly huge. So it's still now, it's one of the biggest office, office buildings here in Bremen. So um, the company went down just a few years later. So that's how things go sometimes. And then was taken over by the government and they had an administration in that building. And after the war, the American military administration uh, took over the building used it for their administration and yeah then when they left and uh, yeah just gave the power back uh, to yeah to the Bremen administration Bremen administration took over and since then it's the Ministry of Finance there and they have all the administration there in this building so that's that's the building where all our money goes so uh, <laughs> And there's something special in this building I want, want to show you. So they have an, an elevator. So the whole building is under monumental protection. And the elevator too, that's a special part of the building. I want to try to show you that. I, know if, I don't know if that works, because I have to be careful with the camera inside, of course. Uh, because, well, you know, it's a uh, financial district, so uh, I don't know. If, if every one of these guys going in there want to be seen on video, so I'm going to be careful with that. But first, I'm going to show you 
a little bit around, show you the building from outside. So I hope you enjoy that. So let me just take the camera. Uh, hope the sun is all right. I'm going to show you some elements of that. So you see, well, there's a nice clock. So this clock, I was not not put there to to show the time really. It was more a symbol to tell the workers, the office workers, that it's the time of the company they're wasting. <laughs> so it was some kind of educational thing. Well, perhaps you can see the dimensions. So that, that building is really huge. So, yeah, we have different pieces of art. So here we have a piece of art, well, that's, that's modern. So you see these, these fallen stones. These fallen stones, they're a symbol for the crash democracy uh, during the late 1930s in Germany. And you see this democracy still standing. These are three pieces and four on the ground. So democracy lost uh, the majority these days so that's what they want to tell us so just some of the elements um, before we go in where you see these nice little things your balcony everything is quite nicely done so different statues over there Yeah, that's, that's really late 1920s. And even on the entrance, you can see like, these elements. I'm going to show you some of these elements. Well, you see it here, right now. Look on this side. Okay, let's go on there. Okay, we're gonna go that way. Oh, there we have it. Look at that. Beauty. So come on guys, I give you a ride. Third floor. <laughs> What's a shaky ride here? Fourth floor. Look at that. Really nice building. Yeah. Whoa. 
Well, there's a sign that says, leave now. What? We're going to take our chances with the beast. <laughs> Let's see if we turn head upside down. Whoa. So now we're reaching the machine. Oh, can you see that? Well, that's the mechanism here. Voila. That's the mechanic. Ah, the light is too low. So we're all on the way down now. Okay, let's let's go down. Try to give you the full ride. So, fourth floor. It's really a little bit of sh shaky here. So, Bob. Oh, the exciting moment is always if you jump in or if you jump out. So, a while ago, but it was just forbidden to use that without a license. So you had, had to have some kind of driver's license to use that. But, <laughs> well, that, that was not really practical, so they skipped that. Okay. Or oh, second floor. first floor now. We just stand. We're going to try to, to get to the cellar, down to the belly of that. So, ground floor. Look at that star there behind. Oh, pretty nice. They say, go out now. <laughs> we won't do that. Wow. So now we are here in the valley. Give you a little more shot. was close. Now we're right at the machine again. Changing direction. Whoa. Yeah. You can't see anything but a pretty heavy mechanics here. So we're now changing direction again. Wow, that's an interesting ride here. Oh you see that? Old Christmas tree. <laughs> There's a sign that says no garbage here. So ground floor. I think we, we're gonna go up to to first at least. If someone's coming, I have to be careful. Ich bin nicht drüber geklettert. Nein, bin ich nicht, wirklich nicht. Äh, wirklich nicht. Ich bin einmal hoch, ich bin einmal hoch, ich bin drei Minuten drin, ich bin einmal hoch und einmal wieder runter. Wenn ich anfange, ne? Ja. Fahre ich jetzt so hoch. Häng hier ab. Ja, aber wenn wenn ich wirklich, ich runter, also ich. Häng ich hier ab. Ich garantiere sie wirklich, ich bin also, ohne. Aber ich bin schon einmal rumgefahren. Kann keiner einsteigen. Ich bin, ich bin nicht über die Ketten gegangen, wirklich nicht. Also, <lacht> Lass du mich eben runter, oder? Was springen? 
Ja, dann können Sie mich dann, ach nur, da kann ich auch nicht, aber wenn Sie mich einen Meter hoch lassen, kann ich hier rüber und dann das Treppen ausnehmen. Ist das okay? Ah. Das mache ich. Ah, tut mir leid. Ich wusste nicht, dass Sie jetzt schon schließen. Ich bin nicht über die Kette gegangen, wirklich nicht. Ich habe mich eben gewundert, dass die Ketten davor sind, habe ich gedacht. Ja, wirklich, ich schwöre es Ihnen wirklich. Die einzige Kabine. Jetzt mal offen ist, ja. ist noch im Keller. Ich bin doch nicht verrückt, ich gehe doch nicht über die Kette, wenn der Fall muss, aber. Nee, das ist wirklich nicht. <lacht> Danke Ihnen. Ich wünsche Ihnen einen schönen Feierabend. Ja, danke, danke. Ja, ich danke. Jawohl, das reicht. Oh. Ah, jetzt muss ich noch einen Stockwerk weiterfahren. <laughs> that was that wasn't planned guys so that was really an adventure so <laughs> you nearly got stuck in the elevator <laughs> Well, as I once said, there's nothing I wouldn't do for a YTPC. <laughs> Stuck in the elevator. Stuck in historic elevator. Could call the video that. So, pretty Edwin. Pretty nice little adventure. So, now I have to go around the building by foot. Oh, you see that building is pretty large. Yeah. Anyway, I think I'm gonna go to Ronnie's. Just drinking a whiskey on that adventure. Hope you enjoyed that. Take care, guys. Be well. Don't be stuck in an elevator. See you again. Perhaps, if I'm not stuck in an elevator. <laughs>